I want to be an actress, and she wants to edit films. This says a lot about our relationship. We're both storytellers. I just need an audience, she just needs a keyboard, and we'll both end up poor. <laughs> Calendars were invented to make the future feel familiar, to make days feel like degrees around a circle. But despite your gravity, our time together is not shaped like an orbit. You're leaving. I'm not afraid of April or May. Only the day copper wire, purple lipstick, and starry night stop being metaphors. So darling, I've made you something. I ask only for your ear in return. March. On the yesterdays, I'm afraid of tomorrows. You say, today, I'll love you forever. So when the tulips bloom, I'll be in the closet, screen printing the future across 100 Campbell's soup cans. You'll laugh and say, Rauschenberg is more my style. In the morning, I'll be thinking of Van Gogh's ear in transit to his ex-lover. Do you think I could hear the words of the other love poems in the mailman's satchel? When the ground thaws, I'll be frying chicken in my apartment. Come over. And I'll teach you how I get the spices right. The secret is no measuring spoons. April. <coughs> you bought me a bonsai sugar maple for Christmas, which refuses to grow despite my best efforts. I'll keep misting the soil. When the temperature rises, I'll envy the air for holding water when our love cannot. When the ground sprouts infant weeds like whiskers, I'll stop shaving in an attempt to make harmony with change. You'll laugh. Her love has always been precocious. We cannot blame it for learning to run. We cannot save it from stumbling. May. Theater is a protean effort, best suited to the stories that flicker before our eyes, they leave behind no evidence. Film is an exercise in sculpting amber frames around the images worth preserving. Poetry is the mattress where love leaves ink stains. I'll let our love be a mattress. I'll leave the recitation up to Rorschach. I'll demand nothing else from it, save for this. After the applause, when this poem has waned its way into a relic, walk outside, look at the stars, remember, that wherever there is light, there was once something burning. Unfold this poem. Resist the urge to squint. Fly this final page like a thought bubble. Let the light of bodies already departed fall across its face like a stray glance, a stray hair on a bed frame. Not a eulogy, not a history, just a poem, a mattress where love once left instincts. <laughs>